Okay, this is bluegrassroots.org, and we're privileged to be with Governor Steve Bashir. Uh, Governor Bashir, I have a few questions for you, and I want to get right to it. First of all, I understand that uh, your administration is working on an energy plan right now. Can you give us a sneak peek of some of the elements of that plan? Well, we are putting together, I think, Kentucky's first comprehensive energy plan. Great. And it's at a time when it is very much needed. As we know, we're in the middle of an energy crisis. We're not going to get over this energy crisis in this country until we take our future in our own hands. And that's what we're going to do here in Kentucky. We're going to lead the way in creating the kind of energy this country needs to become energy independent right. and, to, and to wean ourselves off of foreign oil. We're going to be uh, putting a plan together that's going to utilize and, and and think about utilizing all the forms of energy that uh, creation that we have out here. Mm -hmm. Obviously, coal is a part of any energy plan in Kentucky, but we know that coal has to be cleaner and greener. And we want Kentucky to lead in the clean coal technology and the research and development it takes to make sure that we can continue to use coal as a fuel and clean it up where we can protect our atmosphere for our children and their children. Mm -hmm. We're also going to be looking at all forms of alternative energy, biodiesel, biomass, and, and renewable sources such as solar and wind power and uh -huh. hydroelectric. All of these things will play a role in the future of this country and they're going to play a role in Kentucky. We want to be a leader in all those areas. It seems like Kentucky is at a, a pretty unique, unique place um, Ge geographically because wind power is available to us, solar power is, is uh, feasible, and biomass as well, not all areas of the, I mean we're at the crossroads it seems like of the uh, energy, renewable energy uh, availability. We are, we've got all the rich and fertile farmland we need to produce any kind of product that could go into an alternative fuel. We have the rivers that sure. surround us and that we have within our borders for hydroelectric power. We've got the wind, we've got the sun. You know, we're in a great spot to capitalize on all of the different renewable energy sources that, that we have right now. And we want to not only, by doing this, help this country become more energy independent, but we're gonna create thousands of Kentucky jobs in yeah. the process. You know, uh, they were saying last night, Barack Obama's energy plan will create five million new jobs over the next 20 years. It'd be great if a few of those could land in Kentucky. We're gonna try to make sure that a lot of them land in Kentucky. Yeah, I think so. Now, let me ask you, uh, just to m mention the Barack Obama administration, do you feel like the delegation that came to uh, Denver this week is united now? Oh, we're leaving Denver as a united Democratic Party in Kentucky. Everybody is excited about this fall. We came here as Clinton delegates and Obama delegates. We're leaving here as Democrats. You know, the conventional wisdom is that Kentucky is out, out of play for Barack Obama this fall, but I've heard some pretty compelling arguments by both uh, Attorney General Conway and um, Congressman Yarmouth that that's not the case, that it is in fact winnable for him in the fall. Uh, what do you think? I think we can win Kentucky in the fall. It's going to be a difficult race because Barack Obama's not really known in Kentucky. You know, he hadn't been here. People don't really know him on a personal level. Man, when you get to meet him on a personal level, you'll be for him because he's an exciting individual, an intelligent individual, and a person with vision. He's, he's the right person at the right time to lead this country as President of the United States. So we're going to go back. We're going to put all of that effort in. We'll see how it goes. But one way or the other, we're going to make sure that the people of Kentucky know about Barack Obama before November 4th. And of course, organizing for Barack Obama is also organizing for important candidates like Bruce Lunsford, David Boswell, and Heather Ryan, and Michael Kelly, and all of those folks. So uh, even if we can't carry the state there, we can do a lot for those guys. This unified effort is going to pay off for a lot of different candidates in our state. As you mentioned, Bruce Lunsford can win this U.S. Senate race. We can beat Mitch McConnell. Absolutely. And we can win another congressional seat in the second district with David Boswell. We've got to make sure John Yarmouth wins in the third, and he will. Ben Chandler's going to win in the sixth. Heather Ryan is down in the first, and she has an opportunity. So. All of those kinds of efforts are going to help those folks, going to help our state Senate candidates, our House candidates. It's going to help all the way up and down the line. Let, let me ask you this. Uh, it's on a, on a policy-making level, it seems to me like the biggest challenge confronting Kentucky right now is our ability to raise enough funds to do the important work that state government does. What, what is the Bashir administration going to do down the road to make sure that Kentucky has a stable financial future? Well, we inherited a financial mess when Total I came disaster. in seven, seven months ago. And 
we, we had a billion dollar shortfall for the next two years. I propose some ways of creating revenue because while we need to tighten our belts and we can always do things more efficiently, and we're doing that now. We're running this state government in a leaner fashion than it's ever been run before. We're going to have far fewer state employees than we've had in a long time. We're going to do the kinds of things that people and the taxpayers expect us to do in terms of squeezing every, every ounce of, of effort out of a dollar that we get from the taxpayers. But I'm seeing and I'm finding that the people of this state, even after we do that, People are hurting out here. People are hurting. I mean, I mean it's the, not just the, tightening our belts. The human services that we deliver to folks that are less fortunate, they're not getting the kinds of, of those services that they need. Health care. We're not giving and getting health care to as many Kentuckians as we should. You know, there's education that's being hurt right now. We're actually starting to hear stories of teachers and classified employees starting to be laid off around this state. That's not the direction we need to go. So I'm working very hard to... Uh, see if we can pass an increase in the cigarette tax, for instance. Uh -huh. and, and we'll look at other ways to raise revenue to continue to the momentum that we've had in this state. Yeah, it just seems to me so critical to get uh, more money to do, our, to do the work of state government. Let me ask you one more final question. I know you're a very busy man and that's my question. What's it like to be a, a governor here at the Democratic National Convention? It's one of the biggest honors I've ever had to be able to stand there last night and to announce the vote of the Kentucky delegation at a Democratic National Convention that hopefully is nominating the next president of the United States. That's an amazing feeling and uh, uh, there's nothing like it uh, just being here this week surrounded by other Democrats. It really gives you the enthusiasm you need to get out here this fall and try to get this country on the right path again. Absolutely. Well, Governor Bashir, thanks so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to talk with Bluegrass Roots. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right. Thanks. Okay.